What's up guys, Sam Man back with another review. Today we are taking a look at, super excited for this one, at the brand new NECA Toys Creep Show based off of the 2019 series by Greg Nicotero. This is The Creep. So excited for this. Now before we get started into this, let's hope and you know, down the line, NECA will give us a Tales from the Crypt, a Crypt Keeper figure. I'm hoping we can get that. And I also hope we also get the Creep from Creep Show Part 1 and Creep Show Part 2, directed by George A. Romero. But again, super hype for this. I got this from the NECA store, and they shipped it out within like two days, so I got this pretty fast. What episode is your favorite out of the 2019 series? Let me know down below. And what is your favorite story from the first two movies? Also, make sure you guys thumbs up the video. All right, let's get started. So again, this is based off of the anthology horror series, Creep Show. Love the packaging on this. Has that comic booky feel to it. You have some really cool artwork right there of the creep. And then it does read Creep Show, Tales of Suspense and Horror. You come to the side and it's got Creep Show right there on the side. An image of the figure right there, the creep. And then on the back, there's an image right there of him looking through the window. And there is a little bit of a read up right there. So feel free to pause if you want to read that. And then the back of it, again, it's like it's similar to like a comic book cover. It says Creep Show, Strange, Eerie and Terrifying. It says 10 cents right on the top right. So this is like paying homage to the old Vault of Horror and the old Tales in the Crypt comics from the 50s. And then there is a top of the packaging. So let's open this guy up. I'm hyped for this. Let's see if it's a pickup or a pass. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's take a look at the accessories that you get. Now, first of all, in the insert right here, you get this for pictures. If you want to use like the woods in the background, they got no leaves on them. It's a very creepy, dark night. And then you have the moon right there on the top right. So you do get this as an insert. And then you also get a lantern. Now, I wish this would have lit up. I think it would have been awesome if they had this had like a little light up feature. And I don't think it has that on there. This does not have any articulation to handle. So just careful because this feels like it'll break very easy and they did add some really cool rusty look to the lantern itself and then the glass part looks really awesome in there too i'm trying to see if you can make out a bulb you can't but again they should have made this glow in the dark or at least light up one or the other just be careful guys you don't break this um they did a nice job in sculpting it and like again like the rustiness on this looks really cool so you get that you get an interchangeable hand and this is going to be to hold on to the lantern you can see the hands of the creep there, it's very decomposed. So you get that. You also get a skull. This is a really nice looking skull. This, it looks really, really cool. The sculpting on it is very nice and the texture on it feels really cool too. There is the bottom, so it's just missing the lower part of the jaw, but you get a very, very nice looking skull. Would it be cool if they could give us several of these so you can like, you know, I don't wanna say army build these, but you can have like a really nice display. You can also see the teeth on there so very cool to have this and then the coolest thing about this is you get the comic book now it's just you know it's not it's only like basically like one page or you just open it up and there's just artwork on on both sides of the flap so you have the back right here and it does read creep show and it shows you the back issues i'm trying to see how close i can get this on the camera because I can't read what these are during the with the viewfinders, but I actually think it is the episodes, the title of the episodes from season one. But you can see right there, it says Tale of Suspense and Horror. You got the creep right on the, sitting on a chair, and it looks like there's a rat on there too and some candles. That would have been cool, right? They included some candles with the figure. And then on the inside, you actually have some comic strips here. So that is pretty awesome. I'm glad they included the comic book. All right, guys, so here we have the creeper or the creep. I keep on wanting to call him the creeper. The creep outside of the packaging. Now, he does come with this like long robe. Is that what you would call this? A robe, a gown? I don't know what you would call this. A cloak? Not too sure. You guys can correct me in the comments down below. But the outfit is very nice. The material is really nice. You can see it is weathered. So he's got a lot of little stains on there. You can see some stitching and you can see a lot of tears at the bottom of his outfit, so that looks really cool. Almost looks like a potato sack. And then it also has a hoodie right here. It's got a hood there. And then the uh, as far as the hands go, like in the lower part of the sleeves, it is very ripped. So you can see the front and the back of that. And then same thing with the right arm. So you can see it's very like, just like torn. You can see some holes in there. And then you have the hoodie right here. Now it feels like there's a bendy wire in the hoodie itself because of the way you can kind of 
pose it. So it is kind of poseable, but it does feel like there might be some kind of a bendy wire in the hood itself. Now, as far as putting the hoodie on, I mean, I mean, there's no real special way, at least I don't think that you can display it. And then, I mean, I don't know how far you can pull it forward, but it kind of looks a little on the funny side if you bring it too forward over, over, the, um, over the head sculpt here. But you can, let's pull this back for the review so you can see the head sculpt of the creep. Now, the hair here is all, you know, material. So you can see that it's like gray hair and then he's kind of balding up top. Now, the face is like very, very decomposed. So you can see just like how, how cool the detail is. You can see a lot of holes, the flesh is rotting. The teeth look awesome. Look at that, they're just very decomposed. You can see the lips are just gone from the top and the bottom and you can make out the gums look like a, it's like a crazy different color. You got the big green eyes and if you lift the hair on the side of the head, you can also see some really cool detailing there. Almost looks like a greenish color and then you can see the ears. And then same thing with this side here. Look how great that looks. See, see right here on the top of the, uh, the lip, you can see the lip is gone and you can see the gums and the teeth. It almost looks like his dentures just falling out. I mean, they, they did a great job in sculpting this guy. And then I'll show you guys the back of the head sculpt so you guys can see the neck area. Look at that. Look how crazy that is. See the detailing in the top of the head? Very nice. And the same thing with the outfit here. If you were to open up the outfit, you can see like the rib cage the collarbone, and then maybe some of like, you know, the arms and everything. I'm pretty sure it's a full on figure underneath this outfit. So let's lift this up just a little bit so we can see exactly, you know, what it looks like if it's a fully sculpted figure. Yeah, and it is, it really is. So you can see right there, you can make out the lower part of the body, the legs, how skinny they are, just pretty much bones, rotting flesh, the feet, look how skinny the feet are. Look at the detailing on that. And then you got the uh, the bottom of the feet does have peg holes. And then again, look at the sides. Wow, they, NECA did a great job on this guy. And then you go all the way up. So yeah, it's a fully it's a fully sculpted figure. I mean, you can probably rip this off. And if you don't want the creep and you just want a decompose rotting body, this is gonna be it right here. The hands, you can see he just got, he just has the open hands displayed. I think the outfit's kind of caught in here with all like the the strings and everything. But you can see the hands. He's got really, really long fingers. Like if you see the right hand, you can see how long the hands are. So I'll show you guys the top view of that. You can make out the fingernails and everything. And then he's got these like little strings right here on, on you know, attached to the, the outfit. The only thing that kind of annoys me about him is the hair. The hair kind of just wants to go forward like it's covering the face. So you gotta try to just kind of push that back. Now in the way of the articulation of the creep, the head sculpt does rotate, it goes up and down. You can kind of tilt it side to side. The arms go in and out, forward and back. I don't know if he's got a bend at the arm. I can't, yeah, it looks like he does have a bend at the arm. He's got rotation in the arm. He also has a hinge there. And then he's got a rotation at the lower arm. He also has waist rotation. You can see he's got upper body rotation and ab crunch. The legs go in and out, but you can't do too much because of the outfit. They go forward and back. He's got a bend at the knee, and then he's got that whole ankle pivot action there. So pretty good range of motion for the creep. Just wanted to show you, if you lift the sleeve up a little bit, just show you guys a little cool detailing on the arm there. Okay, so this is something I like. I switched out the hand so he can hold on to the lantern. And like I said, this seems like it's very fragile, but the cool thing about the hand, you don't have to pry it open. It's like a soft rubber material for the fingers. So you don't have to worry about prying it open and like breaking off the top of the handle of the lantern. So you can just kind of place that in there. And again, the soft hands may, helps a whole lot and then um, you can have him hold on to the lantern like that. And here you go, it's trying to reenact the, um, see this kind of falls out. So there's no real way he can hold on to the comic book. You kind of have to have it lean against the chest area and against the hand. You gotta have the hand kind of going inwards towards his, towards his body so he can hold on to it. I'm pretty sure if I were to mess with the articulation a little bit more, I can have him in a cool pose, holding the comic book to where you can actually see the comic book and then he, there he is holding onto the lantern. This is definitely gonna be a way I display the creep and then the skull. I mean, the skull you can have anywhere like on the floor beside him or just use it for another kind of accessory for another figure. But overall, I think this is a really cool looking figure. Anything from Creep Show and Tales in the Crypt, I'm gonna love. Again, NECA, 
Give us a Crypt Keeper figure, please. Also, I hope we do get more from the series, whether it's from the two films or from the television series. I would love to see more of the characters, um, a different version of the creep, like from Creep Show Part 1, Creep Show Part 2. But you guys in the comments below, let me know is this figure a pickup? Is it a pass? Thumbs up the video, guys. Subscribe if you guys haven't. We will see you soon for more reviews, toy hunts, and, and you know, just doing going to stores, showing off Halloween decorations or merchandise. We'll see you soon, guys. Later. Don't believe. Awesome. Let's see. Bill's gonna kill you.